The Urban Farmers Turkana Expedition, powered by Barefoot Solutions, loyal to the soil since 2015. I'm in Turkana County on my expedition with Barefoot Solutions at their demonstration farm in Nakukulas. They've been here for nine months and I'm here to find out the amazing ways that they're greening the desert. Juna, welcome to Nakukulas. We're sitting in three hectares, basically of greenery. This is uh, the tree nursery and propagation area. Uh, we're planting everything from seed, from indigenous trees to seed vegetables that then all go back into the system or get sold. So the idea is that we're trying to create livelihood schemes, find marketplaces where these trees can go for sale, money comes in, supports the CBO, the farm keeps on running. So this is one of the main money generating activities or the main intensive tree nursery. We've got around 4,000 trees wow. right now. Um, so you know, you see the soils, they're sandy, they're compacted, they've got zero nutrients, they've got zero organic matter. So first thing you do when you get to a site is fertility, fertility, right. fertility. So we've got a couple of ways that we initially started creating soil fertility. One of them is our wormery. Right. which we've got uh, some red wrigglers. Uh, we're feeding them food waste. They're giving us vermi castings and vermi liquid, which we then apply into the garden. We're also making our own compost behind us. You can see the piles. Yeah. And to make that, we're combining food scraps, food waste from a nearby camp and cardboard. Right. So we're making compost pretty much from food waste and cardboard. Uh, hot compost, turning it every five days, ready after 30 to 40 days. And then it goes into your shamba system? It gets put to the side, it gets cooled down, and then once it's cold enough, it goes straight into the shamba. Okay. Yeah. Cool, man. That's and that's, that, that's, that's a quick way of trying to turn, turn bad soils into something that can retain a bit of moisture, retain a little bit of nutrient. Yeah, it, it must be really dry here, so how, how, how do you save your plants? It's so hot here, we've got to try and keep that water in there as much as possible, as long as possible. So we're using a lot of mulch. We're trying to cover our soils all the time, keep them, keep them hydrated and uh, not let the sun take all the water away from us. Another way we do is we, we try and promote the fact that trees are already existing in these properties and around us and they're not being used very much, you know. So the idea is to try and create little mini gardens under trees. They, the trees provide shade. Right. They've got root systems, they're intaking nutrients, you know, there's, there's a bit of fertility there. And basically a lot of stuff can grow around that tree. You're watering your plants, you're also in turn watering that tree. Tree's always green, it's providing more fodder for your livestock. Right. So it, it's a win-win really. Okay, cool man. What yeah. else have you got here, Eva? Um, let's go, let's, let, me, let me show you the showers. Alright, sweet. I think I could do with a shower. <laughs> So yeah, Juna, you see the water is coming straight from the shower. It's being filtered through some rocks right. uh, to remove a bit of the impurities of soap. Um, and it gets into this banana circle, which is a huge polyculture. We're growing cowpeas, uh, sorghum, cassava. cassava, napier, bamboo, um, pumpkins. pumpkins. Uh, we've been growing sunflowers, chia seed, moringa. You know, so it's just to show the possibilities that you have with even shower water. Hey, let's check out the drip irrigation, Juna. Yeah. Next week, I continue exploring the Nakukula site to see the amazing produce they grow here using drip irrigation and find out how they use permaculture design to grow dryland species. Chilies in the desert. Chilies. Chilies in the desert. That's really nice, man. Mm -hmm.